Hi everyone. Uh, the Cathedral Choir Tour has had a huge amount of support from C1 Expresso, um, who operate in the city, and I will give the address um, in the comments section of this video. Um, the Golden Panther Tea Company being one of their uh, main products, and they make all sorts of wonderful teas. Uh, but I wanted to show you this one today. This is... Um, uh, blooming jasmine tea, and you'll see why it's called that uh, when I in a moment when I add the hot water. So ingredients for that are uh, uh, silver needle tea, jasmine, marigold, and amaranth. And I tell you what, it smells amazing. Um, the brewing instructions are interesting. Place the rosette in a glass teapot filled with near boiling water and watch the flowers unfurl and serve. I didn't have a teapot, so I've rustled up um, a uh, jug, but you'll see it's a ma so inside this cute little matchbox sized box with the earth on the front are two funny looking balls of string. There's one for now. Oh. Wait, one for now, and this one under here actually says one for later. One for now, and one for later. So when you buy one at C1 Expresso, you use one of these in your pot, and um, you've got the other one to take home and use another time, which is very, very cool. And you can see they're kind of fo it's folded and tied, and, and they're quite amazing. I don't quite know exactly what's in there, but... Uh, we'll soon find out. So I'm just going to pause this video and we'll be back to you when the water has boiled, which it's just doing now. So my jug's just coming to the boil. I should whistle in just a second. Hopefully. Come on. I was whistling before. <laughs> there we go. So, it's not actually a jug. Look, it's a glass vase. I filled it with hot water, hoping that it won't snap when I add hot water to it. This is the bit I'm worried about, actually, is whether it will crack. But no, so far so good. Hopefully that'll do the trick. And I'll take one of my beautiful blooming jasmine tea balls. Now watch this. I'll give it a second. <laughs> I think it tells you it takes a minute or two to unfurl. I can, you can start to see movement there. Something's happening. There it goes. I am going to drink this afterwards. <laughs> oh, what? White. What's this? White uh, silver needle tea is. I'm not sure. I mean, jasmine I know, marigold obviously, amaranth I think is another plant. But um, silver needle tea, I don't know, is it a green tea perhaps? I think it might be because you don't certainly don't add milk or anything to this tea. And you can see now that the flower is starting to open. <laughs> Somebody somewhere has um, spent a lot of time making these little balls. You can see how carefully constructed it is. It's doing its thing. <laughs> you can see the petals starting to unfurl. It's really quite beautiful to watch. And actually on this side you can see the centre of a flower forming.
I might just turn it around so we can see that because that's amazing. There we go. There's even a touch of pink of something in there as well. I wonder if that's the amaranth. I don't know. Oh, if you could smell this. How beautiful is that? And don't you just want to drink that? It smells like jasmine and... Oh... It's very, very fragrant. Might try and put that up in the top so you can see what it looks like from the top. There's a whole flower in there. Or do I just give it a shake? Oh, those are coming away. I see those are, those petals are free of the of the flower itself. And there you have the bloom. Is that not gorgeous? And it's fragrant and mm, I'm going to drink it. Um, so there you have the Golden Panther Tea Company from C1 Espresso and their Blooming Jasmine Tea. Really, really cool and dramatic. And I'd highly recommend going down there. I've looked them up there at 185 High Street, uh, right on the corner beside... Um, Alice in Video Land. Please support them because they're doing great work supporting the Cathedral Choir Tour.